noticed the bow hunter box club is in. Now I watched the live video the other night, Jason, and it's pretty heavy. This is my fifth or sixth box, but it is the heaviest one. So, all right, enough talk. Let's see what's in this bad boy. I see some good stuff. So, our value this month is $72. And let's start on the top. A handsaw. You can't go wrong with this. This is actually perfect because I was at uh, our South Georgia farm just the past two days and I didn't bring my handsaw. And I used my dad's, and it was a saw blade taped to the end of a PVC pipe. Yeah. And it was not ideal. So this is perfect timing to get one of these. So, saw blade. Some ribbon for tra trail marking. You can mark your trails going in and out. And also, uh, trail marking tacks. These are always coming handy. So, highly visible textured tape. So, it won't unravel. Environmentally safe. So, mark your trails, property lines, whatever with the tape. Always good to have in the toolbox in the truck. And then, trail marking tags. 50 in a pack. They're reflective. You can see them up to 200 yards. Again, also great to keep in my, my backpack while I'm hunting. So. And we have some anti-microbial carcass spray. Keep flies off, reduces bacteria, warm weather barrier, preserves trophy cakes. And don't lose your game meat to flies or warm weather. Spray directly on the surface of the skin carcass. Apply generously on trophy capes to prevent hair slippage. Pretty interesting that you can put it to your cape. I'm a taxidermist. So I can appreciate somebody using this to preserve their cape. We have several capes come in that have been left out for whatever reason. They couldn't find the deer or it stayed a cooler too long or you left it in the back of your truck because you want to show your buddies. It doesn't take very long for a cape to go bad and the hair to slip and it to be ruined, uh, especially early season. So, pretty cool idea here of spraying it on the hide to help preserve it. And this is a body bag. Same company. You have to travel a long ways. If you're hunting out of state, either one of these could come in handy. Um, you know, if you guys, like I said, hunt out of state and your taxidermist or your deer cooler isn't where you hunt, Either one of these could be pretty handy. That's what we got. The spray and the body bag to preserve the hide. Trail marking, ribbon and tacks. And the saw. The wow saw. I'm a fan. Another good box. So yeah, the saw was $39. The body bag is $13. And the spray is also 13. And the ribbon is 4. And the trail marker tags are 3. So, again, this is the August box. So we are like 21 days away from deer season opening up here in Georgia. Pretty pumped. Actually, leaving my house this morning, I actually saw one of the bucks I've been getting on camera a lot. First time I've seen him on the hoof, I was driven, driving to work and he was walking through the woods. So it was pretty cool to see him, actually get my eyes on him because you know, pictures can be deceiving. Uh, he's a young deer with potential a seven pointer. So that's all I got for this one guys. Appreciate you taking the time to watch it. Oh, Jason, if you see this, I've told you before, you can get your camo hats back in stock. Let me know, I wanna buy one. I know you're having trouble with the people making them, but hope you get them in soon. 
I love the box. You guys, if you haven't signed up for it, go check it out. Uh, it's bowhunterboxclub.com. Like I said, this is my fifth or sixth box, and I always look forward to getting it each month. I have yet to be disappointed. So, that's all I got for you guys. I'm going to go actually check my trail cameras. I haven't checked them in a little over a week. Because, um, like I said, season's only 21 days away, so let's go see what I got on camera. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And get outside and enjoy his creation. It's a beautiful day. See you later.